Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with another Karno Kyokai movie and this is called uh, Mirai Fukin uh, Extra Chorus. Now I think this is uh, the last, uh, what can I say, uh, anime movie or like this is kind of an OVA I think, I don't know, it is like uh, 32 minutes so this is not a movie so like this is an episode of it so uh, I'm guessing like this is the last one of them uh, if there are like any more Karno Kyokai movies please be sure to inform me in the comment section because like in the previous ep uh, like in the previous uh, week uh, when I reacted to the movie the last movie Mirai Fukuin uh, I thought that was the like last one but like someone uh, from the comment section well, like told me that yeah no this is not the last movie there's another one which is this one so like if there is something else be sure to like inform me down in the comments and if there are like uh, no other movies left of the Kano Kurokai franchise next week I'm going to do uh, Denpateki no Kanojo because someone uh, su like in the comment section a person suggested me to uh, suggested me to it and after reading the summary I was quite interested in the plot so I'm going to do that I've never like watched it so I'll probably be doing that next week if there are no Kano Kyokai movies left and uh, like and if you guys have any other movie suggestions um, be sure to like comment down below as well because like uh, movies have like uh, not like watched a lot of it because uh, like I've watched the mainstream movies like for example which are connected to the animes like Konosuba movies and all of those stuff like uh, which are connected to the mo uh, anime itself but otherwise the standalone movies I've like n not watched any uh, at all like I've not watched uh, almost any of the Studio Ghibli movies uh, I've watched uh, uh, what, what can I call it uh, the main uh, like most popular ones for example Your Name uh, uh, what what a Tenkinoko and uh, the other one what was it uh, Koenokatachi Koenokatachi yeah these these movies I've watched but other than that I've also not watched the Ghost in the Shell movies I like I also plan to do that a reaction to that as well because I've heard it is like one of the iconic movies of anime and I've not watched it uh, so I'm also planning to do like uh, the Ghibli movies and uh, Ghost in the Shell and movies like these which are like I've not watched so so if you guys have any other suggestions be sure to like suggest me down in the comment section if i've not watched it earlier i'll be sure to react to those so yeah guys so without further ado let's get started with karno kyokai uh, movie this is mirai fukin extra chorus and i'm quite curious as to what this is about because everything was over and in the last movie we got a extremely like good conclusion to such a series so I'm quite curious about this. Most probably this will be like some kind of extra things about the movie, uh, like an OVA. So yeah, guys, let's get started. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite curious as to what this is going to show. Felling. Cat. Oh, okay. Oh, so is this like after... Um, oh. <laughs> mm. Okay, this will be interesting to see like Shiki interacting with a cat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you're going to do it anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay. So it is like the nerves are not connected well. Phantom pain, something like that. Mm. Phantom man, yeah. Okay. Sense of rejection. Reactive rejection. Okay, so this is something like she's bringing it upon herself. There's a solution. <laughs> yep, that's the best solution to everything. <laughs> Damn, well, well, like, well said. <laughs> I'm going to use this as a like <laughs> in, my, in my daily conversations. <laughs> like, if someone fusses about something, I'll be, I'll say like. There is a way to counteract it. What is it? Deal with it. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Damn, that's a very faithful cat. Hmm. Oh, is he back? Oh, Azaka. As always. <laughs> what the hell? Does cats eat bread? I don't think so. No. He drank some milk, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. This room is extremely like empty. Pressure cooker. Oh, he's back. 
wait a minute one week issue can yeah week <laughs> mm, <laughs> okay <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay, so this was not his, not his cat. Mm, yeah, kind of. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this... oh, okay. <laughs> she knocked at his glasses off. <laughs> okay. So, is he going to keep it? Okay, so oh, so this is like more like um, bits and pieces. Is this Topo? No, this is not Topo. This is not her voice. Oh, okay. Or is this Aoko, like Toko's sister? I, I don't think, is it? Okay, food. Wait, wait a minute. She's she wasn't blind, was she? Or was she? I'm forgetting it. Oh, okay. After. Oh, so like. Oh, so she lost her eyesight after that. Okay, calm down. Why? Why is okay? So I, I was I was wrong. She's she, I don't think she's like related to Toko. Because like I thought that their hair color was quite similar. So. Excuse me. Oh boy. Hmm. 
Oh, so she was also planning to. Okay, so. So what happened? Like she bailed out at the last moment or something? Is she, is she going to like try to jump now? Oh boy, mm, box cutter. Uh. Oh no. suicide hmm. oh yeah Oh boy. Well, And she said it. Hmm, it's too loud. Oh boy, okay.
Mm-mm, okay. So she's like blaming herself. Oh boy. Oh, so she was the one who brought it up. And she like went along with it and ran away when Oh boy, so yeah, th so this is the reason why like she was blaming herself, okay. Well, you can't do anything if, about what you have done, like, it's all in the past. You can only do things in the future, so you should probably, like, <coughs> do stuff to, like, make it up. Okay. Oh, she. Okay. She can understand it now, like. Hmm. Well, at least like Fujino is like doing stuff to atone for her mistakes. 
she also did some mistakes in the past and now she's also atoning it for it by helping others <coughs> Say grace. Oh, or itadakimas, I think. Oh, she's like wearing her red jacket. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can, we can see the cat behind. What what are they talking about? Like Oh. Me Oh, so this is still. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was thinking like we saw uh, behind Azaka the cat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, that was fun. Oh my god, it's freaking hot here. Oh. Oof. <laughs> well, this is one thing that Japanese people <laughs> wish for world peace. And this is like a trope.
Oh, it's snowing. Oh, this this is that song. Like I remember hearing it in one of the endings. Okay, so they're here. Excuse me. <coughs> so this is the wish. Wow, that was nice. I'm guessing this is the end. Mm, a prayer is... this is the end okay so yeah this was like um short stories after like uh, everything happened everything <coughs> that went down in <coughs> uh, in the uh, last movie which was um i think murder speculation part b so i think after that and these are the, thing, the things that happened and then uh, like after that like uh, the second part of Mirai Fukuin where we see Mana and like uh, that guy uh, I forgot his name the other guy who was like uh, bombing the bomber man uh, her and Mana like uh, like uh, Shiki recruiting her for uh, as a Mana's guardian I think not a guardian but uh, like caretaker or a kind of like a bodyguard something like that and gave like a detective agency like thing that they start started doing so yeah so those things happen later like uh, after this obviously like a lot later than this like this is uh, just after I think murder speculation B like these things happened then after like uh, a lot of years I think uh, how many years was it I forgot but after a few years obviously like uh, m uh, Kokuto and uh, Shiki must have like married and all then Mana was born so yeah okay one thing is like uh, like this snowing thing like uh, in animes and everything we see like it's snowing and all like the place where I live like in the country like <laughs> there's no snow not even in winter so like like it's, it's like one of my what can I say uh, things that I really want to see like snowing and uh, like someday I hope I'll get to see like go to a place where it will be snowing a lot like in my like uh, like I live in India and uh, like in my place unless and until you go to like one of the states where it is cold you won't get to see uh, snow at all like it's mostly like hot in here like throughout the whole like season like uh, all of the seasons and even in like winter it is like hotter uh, comparing it to other places like uh, Japan and all so yeah no snow I've not seen any snow <laughs> like snowfall at least none 
So yeah, that's like kind of like a thing. Like I really want to see like snow falling from the sky. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. That was just something. Okay. So this episode was um. What is this? Uh. This was a Mirai Fukin extra chorus, and uh, yeah, this was like nice, uh, nice little um, short stories. Uh, there were three short stories, and. Uh, like um the first one which was like with the cat and all and <laughs> like that was like a cute little um story and uh, the cat i'm uh, like i uh, after uh, afterwards we saw like uh, as uh, mikia said that uh, obviously like he wouldn't be able to keep the cat because he barely like stays in his house so he won't be able to take care of it so <laughs> like after she like gave him that uh, what was that like that flick in his head uh, like <laughs> he like uh, even after that he I, i'm guessing like he tried to like um, go and like give the cat to the other people who had like decided to adopt it adopt it but the cat ran away <laughs> so yeah like after trying for a few times he like gave up and obviously like uh, went and kept uh, the cat uh, in his parents house where like Azaka lives as well i'm guessing so yeah oh no Azaka lives in the dormitory so i i i'm i'm guessing like she came back for like some winter vacation and all so yeah so that was the reason why like she was in the house so yeah that was like a nice little episode and obviously the cat as azaka said <laughs> was a lot like shiki like uh, when given food he she did not uh, i don't know if the cat is a he or she uh, i'll like refer to it as she so uh, when given food uh, the cat did not uh, <laughs> like accept any food which is lot similar to shiki like <laughs> and obviously like uh, her what can i say um standoffish personality the cats i'm talking about the cat uh, standoffish personality and not like always like looking for forward to mikia's return and all <laughs> those like has heavily resembled shiki and uh, <laughs> yeah um yeah that was that and uh, after that we get another uh, little portion uh, which not a little portion but that was like the majority of the episode which was uh, the thing with uh, uh, asagami fujino and the red haired girl uh, at first when i saw her i like her hair made me think that most probably like she is uh, related to um, toko and i was like guessing it was aoko or something but uh, like after like he hearing their like conversation and their uh like uh, and the the things that they talked about <coughs> um i realized that, that could not be aoko because obviously like uh the first thing that kind of like what can i say like uh made me think that yeah this is like this can be uh, aoko at all because obviously like the way she talked and her like mannerisms and everything uh looking at toko <coughs> and i also like uh, like uh, played sukihimi uh, previously and uh, because of that like i know like aoko is also like uh, what can i say mm, her personality is i i can't properly remember but her personality was definitely not like that this girl so like she is like in no way aoko and like her like hair made me a bit confused at the beginning but obviously like she is a different type like different character and she had like as we get to see a story she had decided to like die and like as she said that she thoughtlessly asked uh, the other girl to like why don't we die and stuff like that then, and then later when like obviously like if you like the other girl was suffering she had her own problems and everything and even like uh, i'm i'm guessing that she was also like thinking stuff like these like these type of suicidal thoughts and all were like coming to her so when but she did not have the courage or like uh, the what can i say the resolve to carry it out but when um the red haired girl uh, 
thoughtlessly told her that uh, why don't you die with me that kind of like made her resolve stronger and she went along with it and later on uh, the red hair girl kind of bailed out and uh, the other girl decided to carry on and i'm guessing like uh, like as uh, the red the red hair girl said that after like the last verse she said where that uh, uh, like uh, the world is beautiful even though it is like uh, it's just something like that didn't she um, just a sec wait a second I I'm looking for the uh, actual words what the hell where did it go Oh yeah, here it is. No matter how painful it may be, um, I want you to believe that this world is beautiful. Okay, so uh, like this was these were the, like the last words of her, and I'm guessing the uh, reason she said these be was because like she herself knew that the thing that she was doing was not uh, something that someone should do, and like definitely like people should stop the other one from committing suicide. And she herself knew that, but she was unable to apply it in her own case. And uh, like, I think like she probably thought that at least I want my friend to live. So she tried to uh, like convince her not to like make rash decisions and jump, even though she herself jumped. Like I think it, it was something like that. Like like I, I'm I'm guessing like she knew that what she was doing was not a way. Like that was just like running away like i know like the people who really like what can i say are depressed and think about uh committing suicide and all the amount of like mental pressure they go through uh i could understand but definitely like, like there are a lot of like a lot of people uh, definitely like, you should not commit uh, like suicide at any case and there are like a lot of people who say like calm down like obviously you should say that uh, if someone is trying to commit suicide you should try to stop him or her from doing that because that is not the correct way but at the same time like the person who is like commit trying to commit suicide must have been like pushed to such a corner that she has no other thing left to do like that is the only thing that she has left and she can't find a way to get out of the messy situation whichever situation she or he or she is in and the only what can i say path left is that so that is the reason why like he or she tries to <coughs> kill herself and <coughs> you should definitely like try to stop them and all but the person who is committing suicide also knows that the thing that i'm doing is not correct but she has like no path left and similarly this girl she knew that the thing that she was trying to do was not correct and a person should not do but she still tried to like save her friend who would, who would have like probably followed her later on <coughs> like in this case we see uh, she, like this girl like uh, she even though like she tried to commit suicide later on i'm talking about the later part where like asagami fujino came in on the bridge and told him that yeah i'm the one who killed the others and everything she was kind of trying to commit suicide because obviously even though like uh, as asagami fujino said that the uh, water there is like water underneath you you won't get uh, you would probably like get injured a lot probably not probably die and uh, like and that's a box cutter like uh, those are not correct ways to commit suicide as she said and i was guessing like um, i'm thinking like she probably did not have that courage which is also the reason why she kind of bailed previously so she did not have the courage but the guilt inside her which <coughs> the guilt which was that uh, because of her her friend died that guilt that guilt kind of like made her do this and i'm like i'm just thinking like if uh, asagami fujino did not like stop him this time she would have probably like carried out whatever she was going to do like cut her veins or like jump 
get heavily injured, get uh, admitted to the hospital, the guilt would still be there inside her and she would already also like kind of like start uh, feeling guilty by the thought that she herself did not have the courage to commit suicide even though she like provoked the other girl like there that thing will also like come back and it will like make her more depressed and all and like she will again try to commit suicide like this will like go on and on and on i'm guessing like something like this would probably have happened if if asagami fujino did not come and uh, like stop this and that would be extremely bad like she would like live her whole life with the guilt and everything and st like because of her cowardly nature she would not be able to commit suicide but the guilt will also like kind of kill her from the inside and she will like con like continually try to injure her and everything and like that will be an extremely messy situation that that will be even like worse than someone killing themselves like she would like li be living dead inside for like uh what can i say for a lot of years to come and unless and until someone came and helped her so that would be like one of the like worst things that could have happened to someone so <clears throat> like like thank god like uh, sh uh like asagami fujino came and helped her and gave her a ray of hope and uh and like uh, thinking of like seeing about like seeing this we can all like everyone can uh, agree on one thing is that uh if you like uh kill yourself and all that's just like running away so the better thing to do is if you really want to atone for your sins you should keep be alive and atone for your sins properly do stuff help others and stuff like that and uh, <coughs> asami fujino like did the correct thing she is helping others now uh and you know, like and like she helped one person and uh the the girl did not kill herself she saved one life so just like this you should like atone for your sins and i and like instead of running away that is like the correct way to like uh to atone for your sins yeah so yeah that was like good and i'm i'm hoping and i'm guessing like she will like carry this on and help others as well uh, whom she comes into contact with and after that we get to see like a little bit of uh, uh, mikia and shiki and uh, yeah we got to see a blushing shiki <laughs> that was kind of rare i mean uh, yeah that was extremely rare not a, kind of rare that was extremely rare <laughs> and uh, yeah and uh, we got uh, kind of like a good conclusion uh, in the previous episode like in uh, mirai fukuin with the original like uh, movie i kind of said that i really wanted to see kokuto uh, like mikia a bit more and this uh, like this episode kind of what can i say um uh what uh, kind of like uh, fulfilled my wish which i had we got to see kokuto after everything that happened and like we also see like kokuto and um, um shiki together and everything so i'm kind of satisfied uh so yeah so yeah guys that was uh, this episode this was uh, mirai fukin extra chorus uh, i'm guessing this is the end of uh, karano kyokai and if i'm wrong or if there is like still something more things left be sure to like uh, inform me in the comment section uh, otherwise uh, in the next week i'll be uh, i'll do um, dengito uh, denpa teki no kanojo and uh, if you guys have any other suggestions of movies be sure to like comment down below uh, i've said this before and uh, like i'll be like saying this in <laughs> every uh, like every reaction so be sure to comment down below i'll like keep that in mind and do the reactions uh, one after the others because obviously these are like movies and uh, i'll probably like take one or two days to complete the reactions because these are movies or ova format uh, episodes so keep uh, the suggestions coming in and i'll try to do all of them which i have not watched definitely the things that i've watched i'll like mention them in the comments itself and the things that i've not watched i'll definitely try to do all of them so yeah guys
so yeah guys that was this episode uh, that was a nice conclusion <laughs> i am like saying the same stuff over and over again from the for the past two or three ep- uh, like movies because like each and every movie feels like a conclusion but <laughs> it actually isn't so yeah that was this was like a nice side story to the conclusion itself and uh, i'm satisfied i'm quite satisfied uh, my uh, like the little bit of uh, unsatisfaction i had because like i did not get to see Co- uh, mikia uh, in the end also kind of go- got uh, cleared in this episode and we also like got to uh, meet a new character and all so and we got to see a blushing shiki so yeah that was all like win win situation so yeah guys that was it um, i enjoyed my uh, like kind of quick the uh, journey throughout the whole all of the uh, movies all of the uh, things that i saw the whole franchise was extremely um, what can i say entertaining and i enjoyed myself and i have to say like this is like one of a kind movie uh, franchise uh, it like it really has like the type of charm that you should like uh, like it has a type of charm of the like type moon universe like uh, fate universe uh, sukihime universe like that type of charm and obviously i was like a big fate uh, uh, like fate franchise fan so i was sure that i'll definitely like this uh, franchise which like uh, which was completely correct because i definitely did enjoy my uh, whole journey throughout the all of the uh, movies so yeah like uh, i'll like uh, Obviously, like uh, this is like uh, Sukihim, uh, not Sukihim. Uh, Kanok Yokai uh, Fate. These are like what can I say? Um, a type of anime where you like gradually, uh, like uh, what what can I say? Like where you, um, after like uh, watching it and everything, you acquire a taste for it. Like uh, if you like, I, I'm thinking like I, I, there are a lot of people I've seen who like if introduced to the Fate universe or Kanok Yokai universe. Uh, did not like it, but uh, obviously, like this is something that you acquired the taste for. Like this is like an uh, what can I say? Um, uh, unusual type of uh, uh, franchise, like the Type Moon Universe. It has, it is like extremely wide, like has a wide lore. Like there is a lot of things in it. Like I've seen the Type Moon Wikia, and there are like so many things which like if you like completely like immerse yourself in in it it will like take days and days for you to like uh, like read all of the backstories all of the lore everything and it's still expanding there are still more things getting like into it for example there are things like uh, like i i think alaya and then uh, all of the beast things and everything like uh, 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 if you guys like uh, play Fred Grand Order and everything, you, you guys will know like uh, Beast uh, One, Two, Three, all of those like things, the Counter Force, uh, Origin, all of these things. There are like so many things. There are like it's like a huge thing. And obviously, I don't know like uh, I'm like I doubt I even know half of it. So like I'm still like <laughs> uh, like there are so many things and. So yeah, like this is like something that you acquire t- taste gradually, and after you acquire the taste, you will like be unable to live without it. Something like that. Like this is so interesting and so like engaging the whole uh, Type Moon universe and everything, and uh, and it's still like uh, uh, expanding and all with the Fate Grand Order um, uh, game still going ongoing and everything, and more. Uh, I'm guessing we'll get more of the animes and all of everything and i really want like a sukihime anime as well i doubt if they're going to do it or not probably if like uh <laughs> what can i say it uh, i don't know uh, if whether they'll do it or not but also like a mouse kaino yoru um i also want it like uh, at least the visual novel i really want it to get translated so that i can like read it i, I don't know japan japanese so yeah that's quite a shame so yeah, yeah guys, so that was it, um, I'll stop talking now, uh, that was a long time, uh, that's a long time I'm talking, so yeah guys, that was it, that was my reaction to uh, Kanok Yokai uh, Extra Chorus, uh, Mirai Fukin. Uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, mm, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share, or you have any other suggestions, or any other movie suggestions, be sure to comment down below, and I'll check them out, and uh, I'll be back with a new video next week which will probably be uh Denpa Teki no Kanojo unless and until like uh, there are still uh, any more Kano Kyokai movie or anything left so yeah so see you uh, next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day